This one is for the night. And she takes this one. It's CBD and CBG in the morning to go to school. My name is Paola Mota. I'm the founder or the co-founder of Mothers for Cannabis in Portugal. I started it in 2017 with my daughter. She has Rave syndrome. The doctor told me that probably she, at the age of 15, she could be on a wheelchair. Today she's not on a wheelchair. She is doing everything she wants. Medical cannabis gave a new life to her. Medical cannabis was legalized in Portugal in 2019, but many people, like Paula, continue to buy it on the black market as it's difficult to access. Prices are high, products are limited, and the cannabis available is rarely prescribed. But in the last five years, over 40 medical cannabis companies set up in Portugal. The country is one of the biggest producers of medical cannabis in the EU, with 32 tons of production capacity declared for 2024. American entrepreneur Michael Sassano set up Somaya Pharmaceuticals in Portugal in 2021. The company is one of the most advanced producers of medical cannabis in the world, but none of its 80 products sold internationally are available in Portugal. We are waiting for Portugal to develop. Um, because we're a global model, as company, countries develop, we plug into them. We will ultimately have product here, but it's still a very small market comparatively to the, the biggest markets, Australia and Germany being one and two within our region. Portugal is the number one infrastructure for cannabis in the entire EU. It's quite sad that the access isn't there for the medical patients, but I do believe that will pick up. Portugal exported nine tons of medical cannabis in 2022, but only sold 14 kilograms within its borders that same year. For Luís Mourinho Soares, who worked at the government certification agency for over 25 years, access to medical cannabis is still too restrictive. The purpose of the law was, again, to allow the patients which were in need to gain access to the medicine. But for some way or the other, without judging, this current framework has not been able to do it. Medical prescription could be uh, provided at the pharmacy and the pharmacist would then making sure to take the flower or the preparations and prepare it for individual patients. This could be a way through. In February, the European Commission registered a citizen initiative calling for better access to medical cannabis. If the petition is successful, legislation for better access to medical cannabis in Europe will be considered by the Commission.